Hi everyone, this is your math guru. Today we are going to learn how to simplify complex fractions using the least common denominator method. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In our first example, we have 1 over y squared minus 1 all over 1 plus 1 over y. A least de common denominator for this question is y squared. If you're not sure how to find LCD, you can go to my playlist and look for the video that says how to find the least common denominator of fractions. After finding our LCD or our least common denominator, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by our LCD. So we have 1 over y squared minus 1 at the top times y squared, our LCD, over, we have 1 plus 1 over y times y squared. This simply means that every term in the bracket is going to be multiplied by y squared. So we have 1 over y squared times y squared minus 1 times y squared. I can put this in the bracket to make it easy for you to understand. We're going to do the same for our denominator we are left with 1 times y squared plus the next term is 1 over y times y squared. If you expand or simplify, this will give us 1 minus y squared for our numerator and our denominator. We are going to have y squared plus y. At the top, we have difference of 2 squared because 1 squared is the same as 1. So we are going to expand using our DOT, uh, which says a squared minus b squared equals a plus b, a minus b. So using that, we are going to have 1 plus y, 1 minus y. Over, if I factorize the bottom, I have y is common, y plus 1. 1 plus y and y plus 1 are the same. So that cancel, make sure you cancel the same expression at the top and at the bottom. We are left with 1 minus y over y. Let's go to our second example. In the second example, we have 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over x all over 2 over x minus 3 over x minus 1. If you check all our denominators, we find out that our least common denominator for this example is x times x minus 1. So, like we did in the previous example, we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by our LCD. So, multiplying each term by our LCD, we are going to have 1 over x minus 1 in brackets x x minus 1. So, we have 1 over x minus 1 times the LCD plus 1 over x times my LCD, which is x in bracket, x minus 1, all over, we're going to do the same for our denominator. We have 2 over x times our LCD, which is x, x minus 1, minus, we have 3, the next term, 3 over x, I'm going to correct that quickly, 3 over x times the LCD, x, x minus 1, and minus 1 times the LCD, which is x, x minus 1. Now we start cancelling out the common factors at the bottom and at the top. This cancels. x minus 1 cancels here. x cancels here. x cancels. x. Now we have, at the top, we are left with x plus x minus 1, the 1 in the bracket, over at the bottom, we have 2 in bracket, x minus 1, let me extend my fraction bar, minus 3 in bracket, x minus 1, minus in bracket, x, x minus 1. If we simplify or expand, we are going to have at the top, x plus x will give us 2x minus 1. If I expand all the brackets at the bottom, I'm going to have 2x minus 2 
minus 3x plus 3 minus x squared plus x. So at the top, I still have my 2x minus 1. And at the bottom, collecting like terms, I'm going to have minus x squared. I have 2x minus 3x, that's minus x plus x, that will give us 0. So I'm left with minus x squared. I have minus 2 plus 3, that will give us plus 1. So I have plus 1. Let's go to another example. In this example, we have m plus 1 plus 1 over m minus 1 over 2m minus 1 minus 1 over m minus 1. A least common denominator, LCD, is m minus 1. So we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by our LCD. That will give us m plus 1 plus 1 over m minus 1 times our LCD, that's m minus 1, all over, I have my 2m minus 1 minus 1 over m minus 1 times m minus 1, which is my LCD. If I expand, that means multiplying my LCD by each term in the brackets, I'm going to have m in brackets, m minus 1, plus 1, in bracket m minus 1 plus 1 over m minus 1 times m minus 1 at the top for my numerators and at the bottom I'm going to have 2m times m minus 1 minus 1 times m minus 1 minus 1 over m minus 1 in bracket m minus 1 I'm going to cancel out all the common factors uh, this m minus 1 is common here, m minus 1 is common here. Then I expand my brackets. I'm going to have, using the term outside to multiply all the terms inside the bracket, I'm going to have m squared minus m plus m minus 1 plus 1 over 2m squared minus 2m minus m plus 1. I'm going to extend my fraction bar minus 1. Collecting like terms, at the top I'm going to have minus m plus m that's 0, minus 1 plus 1 that's 0, I'm left with m squared at the top and at the bottom I have 2m squared minus m minus m, that's minus 3m plus 1 minus 1 that's 0 I can still factorize at the top and at the bottom. If I take out my m, I'm left with m because m times m is m squared. Uh, m is common at the bottom. I have 2m minus 3. This m cancels. So my final answer is m over 2m minus 3. Let's look at the last example. In this example, I have k over x minus x over k all over k over x plus 2 plus x over k. My LCD, my least common denominator, I'm going to take that out. My LCD is, I have xk, xk, and 1, that will be xk. So I'm going to multiply all the terms at the top and at the bottom by my LCD. So at the top, I have k over x minus x over k times my xk, which is my LCD, xk. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. I have k over x minus plus 2 plus x over k times my xk. Expand on the brackets. I'll multiply in each term by my LCD. I'm going to have k over x for my numerator times xk minus x over k times my xk. Then at the bottom, I have k over x again times my xk plus 2 times xk plus x over k times my xk. I'm going to cross out all the common factors. I have x here, cancels. I have k here. I have x here, green. And then I have k here. Simplifying, I'm going to have k 
times k, I have k squared minus x times x, x squared at the bottom of my denominator, k times k, I have a k squared plus 2xk plus x squared. I can further factorize. At the top, I have my difference of 2 squared, like I did in the first example. a squared minus b squared will give me a plus b, a minus b. So if I do that to my numerator, I'm going to have k plus x and k minus x. I do the same for the bottom expression. I'm going to have k plus x, k plus x. If you fall k plus x and k plus x, I'm going to have k squared plus 2xk plus x squared. So if I cancel out the common factor, I have k plus x common at the top and at the bottom. I'm left with, for my numerator, k minus x and my denominator, k plus x. Thanks for watching. Bye.